Liberals need to understand we're talking about the RCMP investigation into the fraud against the government by the Prime Minister, not the, the Ethics Commissioner st study. The Prime Minister thinks he's above the law and there's a rest, the rest of us on another piece of law. He accepted a $215,000 luxury private island vacation from someone who is actively lobbying the government for millions of taxpayer money. The Prime Minister provided the missing piece of the puzzle the RCMP needed to charge him. He admitted he did not have permission to take the trip. The RCMP has all the puzzles they need now to charge the Prime Minister with committing fraud against the government. Will the Prime Minister cooperate with that investigation? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, let's be clear. The opposition is talking about something which took place in 2016, more than six years ago. This matter has been thoroughly investigated by the Ethics Commissioner, who published a report in 2017. Our government absolutely understands that Canadians want and need us to focus on more pressing challenges. Affordability, climate change, housing, and of course, Putin's illegal war in Ukraine. The Honourable Member for Selkirk into Lake Eastman. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister cannot dodge these questions much longer. We've got to remember, there is no statute of limitations under the Criminal Code here in Canada. In fact, the Prime Minister's silence sounds a lot like an admission of guilt. In the RCMP criminal brief, they said, if the Prime Minister was any other Canadian, he would be charged. Canadians are demanding the Prime Minister be held to a higher standard. Will the Prime Minister lift the veil of secrecy clear the air and proactively speak to the RCMP. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what I hear Canadians demanding. Canadians are demanding action on climate change. Canadians are demanding action to build more houses for a growing country. Canadians are demanding that our country act urgently to support Ukraine and to oppose Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine. Those are the urgent issues facing Canada today, and that's what our government is focused on.